applications work on the Mac in their present state. Again, some of this is still beta at this particular point in time, but uh, due to be released soon. So um, the difference is the HD Link application on the Mac is called Remaster. So basically the same idea, you go ahead and import your files in and you convert them to Cineform format just by hitting the convert button. The Mac uh, application is actually a little bit uh, simpler. So once we're uh, done with that, then go ahead and bring that into uh, First Light on the Mac and we're going to import those files. So I've got one for left eye and I've got one for right eye. And here you want to go ahead and let's just switch this back to left. It looks like I was in a different view before. So to switch this, Mac has different modes for viewing up at the top where we'll just go ahead and put it on left eye view. And we want to go ahead and just look for where that clapperboard is. And just like we did before, but a little bit different on the Mac, I'm going to go ahead and mark that left. And then you'll notice it says left up here. And let's just do the same for the right. And we'll go ahead and mark that right. Now the two files are aligned perfectly together. You're going to shift select both of those. And on the Mac, you basically say export it as a stereo file. And it's nice because it does it in one step. You can pick either time code for the left and the right, how you want it to start. I'll just go ahead and leave it here and say save. And I'll use an MOV. And you'll notice it does it all in the application. So this version of First Light does it a little bit different than the PC. But again, all the settings are basically the same. So now that I've got both right eye, left eye, if I come over here and I choose something like a side by side, I can see that the file is indeed in sync. There's the two files that I just put together and I can go ahead and check those. Those look pretty good. And from here, I can go ahead and do the onion skin and start to look at my convergence. And then here's your 3D controls as I showed you before. So the menus and the buttons are basically uh, the same. They're just organized a little bit different on the Mac. Okay, let's jump over to Premiere Pro and take a look at a clip that I have on the timeline. So this is going to work uh, pretty much exactly the same. You'll notice it's given it to me in an onion skin because this mode up here is a global setting. So if I shift this over to left eye, you'll notice it updates to uh, to left eye. Or if I come over here and say, show me the uh, the anaglyph glasses here, then I can come over here and see my, my anaglyph preview uh, however I want to, uh, to view that. So again, when I view my anaglyph like on my Mac laptop, I'll typically view that in an amber blue setting. To go ahead and view this in some of the other modes that I showed you, I'm going to go ahead and just get this out of uh, anaglyph mode and I'll just stick it in uh, side by side mode. I'm going to go under sequence settings, playback settings, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in a standard 2D mode for my uh, for my internal window, which is fine. Standard uh, 2D mode for my external. And when I do this, I'm seeing side by side, just like you see here, on my second display, which in this case is connected to my 3D television set. And that works fine on the Mac coming out of the DVI port into an HDMI 1.4 port on my 3D television set. It looks great. So it's a great way for the Mac users to get a very quick and simple monitoring solution using an off-the-shelf standard 3D television set from their electronic store. A couple other modes that you have, just to point them out. So you can set your external monitor to horizontal interlace 3D. Again, you can use the Hyundai display that I mentioned before to give you a passive monitor uh, viewing experience that you can use with any of those um, real 3D compatible glasses um, like the ones you uh, see at the movie theaters. A lot of the movie theaters now are just giving those out um, and not recycling them. Or you can use those microvision glasses that I mentioned before with the Neo X lens on and those things work great as well. You can also see that they've got some other support here that they're hoping to support on the Mac. Again, this is an early build, so uh, nothing to announce, but uh, we'd like to see Page Flip come to the Mac for active displays like the Alienware uh, display I talked about earlier, which would be fantastic, currently not available. Again, the primary reason being that uh, Apple has to allow that driver on their uh, on their system. It has to do with lower level APIs that talk to the graphics cards, and Apple controls the uh, the graphics driver uh, for those cards, and that's an option that uh, Apple has to allow. 
So if you want to write Apple, I hear Steve Jobs is uh, actually returning uh, emails these days. Go ahead and ask him if we can get NVIDIA 3D Vision support for the Mac. It'd be great for the World of Warcraft players too. Uh, also, uh, you'll see that there's uh, NVIDIA Dual SDI support, which would be great. We'd love to see that uh, support come out as well. And pretty much all the other features work exactly the same way from the effects to the export that I showed you on the PC. So uh, once these drivers are officially released and available to the public uh, on the Mac, I'll go ahead and record another session for the Mac users.